Hey, I'm Brady with Churnkey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your parents love you again. Just kidding, can't help you with what I haven't figured out myself. I am going to teach you how to make your boss love you though, and that is with the Cancel Flow Analytics page. Now this page is really cool. It's gonna break down all your cancel flows, show you how much money you is making. So let's dive right into it. So right here, when you go to Cancel Flows and Analytics, you're gonna see this beautiful page here that our fantastic professional nerds have put together just for you. And this is going to be filled with your stats, especially once you've got some people who are going through your cancel flows. So if you're checking this and you're like, hey, there's nothing on here, uh, you probably just don't have enough lifetime in your cancel flows yet. So give it a month, come back, take a look. So right here, this boosted revenue, this is basically all the money that you would never have made if you weren't using a cancel flow. And you can see for this business in particular, it is quite a lot of money. It's a nice little chunk of change there, especially for what they're paying us. Here you can see how many customers you have saved, quite a lot, and then how many sessions someone has basically looked at your cancel flow. Now, a few things here that are really good. So a 30% save rate, that's really good. This business has 38, so that's really, really nice. That's basically anytime someone goes into a cancel flow, flow, how many of them do not end up canceling. And you can see for this business, it's 38%. So if 100 go in, only 62 actually cancel, which is really sweet, especially if you're into retention or churn numbers, or if you're a nerd. So that's really nice. Here, the 70% reactivation, that's higher than average, uh, but that's a really good number to strive for. About a 60% reactivation rate. That's going to be people who pay an invoice, go to cancel, and then pay another one after that. So that's really what we're looking for here. This number per save is gonna vary so much depending on business by business. So don't worry about that. Here, you're gonna see basically what we have above broken down into text. So you can take a look at that. Over here on the recent save side, this is everyone who's recently gone through your cancel flow. You can see we had someone go through seven minutes ago, four hours ago. One thing I do like is you can click this play button here and it's going to show you their session. So it's going to show you basically how they're going about canceling. You can watch that in your own time. I really, really like this because it just kind of shows you how customers are going through your cancel flow, thinking about your cancel flow. So you can watch those at your leisure. Of course, you can view all sessions. We're going to do that in just a second here. Here you can see boosted revenue over time. Now, this is a really nice graph to show your boss because this shows you month by month how much money you've saved. So this boosted revenue here, 9K basically. Uh, if you didn't have a cancel flow with Turnkey, you wouldn't have this 9K at all. So this is really nice to show your boss. Break it down. You have actual and you have projected. Of course, that projected number is going to be higher. And then you have your finalized number once the month is over. Here you have your added revenue by offer types. You can see this business is offering pauses, they're offering discounts, and then you have people who just open a cancel flow and they go to abandon. So they just click the cancel button and they're like, you know what, actually, I don't want to cancel. So then they stay. You can see how all of that's broken down and just kind of give you an idea of what cancel flows and offers are working best for your audience. Here, it's probably my favorite graph of this all because I'm a churn nerd, and this just helps you really maximize your results over time. This shows you how many people started the flow, how many canceled, how many retained, and then what offers they ended up accepting. And this is just really, really cool. So you can see of the people who paused accounts, uh, you can see how often they accepted, how often they got a discount and so on. You can break this down by month, by sessions. You can export this. You can do some really cool filterings here. And then where the money is, this tells you what kind of offers you should be offering. So if I were this business, I would say, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't be doing that many discounts. Maybe you should just be doing more pauses. I would definitely say get rid of the uh, plan change. So if you're offering like a hidden plan, if I was looking at this business analytics, I'd be like, dude, just get rid of that. Offer uh, pauses, maybe discounts. Discounts are okay, but definitely offer some more pauses. Here you can see a sentiment trend, just how customers are feeling about your business over time. Cancellation trends, how often a certain canceled reason has been selected. This is really nice. I use this on the right more than I use this on the left here. This is just kind of to visualize it, but these, the real nice numbers here. So I recommend taking a look at this. This is going to be super helpful for you. The cancellation heat map, that's also going to be interesting to kind of give you an idea of why people are canceling. And then this insights AI. So this is really, really cool here. I love that our engineers have done this, but it just basically tells you what people are saying and it tells you at scale. So one thing I really love doing is take this testimonial worthy feedback. Like this person said you were amazing, but it doesn't fit their budget right now. These are great people to reach out to who you could potentially get a review from. If you want to boost your reviews on Trustpilot on G2, I did this at a previous job of mine and it worked super well. Just put a VA on this, one of your support people on this and 
reach out to them manually, works great. So that's really good there. You can also see product suggestions, refund requests if you wanna handle those, and then how your offers have performed over time. This is just another way where you can see what offers are being offered most and which ones are being accepted the most and gives you an idea of what your customers are interested in when they go to cancel. And then here you see all your list of people who have canceled. So this earlier when we were looking at that see all sessions button, this is where it's gonna take you to the activity stream. Now, this is a lot of information right here. So you can filter this down to billing intervals, uh, different offers accepted and so on. But what I like to do is I like to read through these, see what people are doing. So these people are pausing. I like to see why they're canceling. If they do cancel, this person's not, uh, creating enough, doesn't fit my budget, not creating enough. And then I also really like to see what they're saying uh, when they give the feedback. So they're saying, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just not using the tool right now. Or they're saying, hey, actually, you're great. Or I don't have any feedback. Don't have any feedback. Or I just need more functionality. So I'm moving to a competitor or these kinds of things. So if you have any questions about your cancel flow analytics, there's going to be a chat button on the bottom right, right behind my head. Sorry, that's in your way. No one's ever liked that being there, but hey, I have to get paid for something. So chat with us get in contact. We're always going to be happy to explain these analytics to you and help you lower your churn.